The story you are about to see is true. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. There is a four-legged crime fighter keeping our fair city safe. <laughs> His long muscle can sniff out trouble. His scissors bite can lock onto a limb. His powerful hindquarters and long strides can leap fences and cover ground like an Olympian. And his fearlessness, loyalty, and intelligence enable him to apprehend the slipperiest lawbreaker without endangering his master. Who is this muscular marvel of beauty, grace, speed, strength, and smarts? Who is this courageous conqueror who protects and serves us? Who is this noble warrior who has captured the hearts, minds, and bouncing balls of generations of dog lovers? Ladies and gentlemen, meet the German Shepherd Dog. Where did this special breed, often described as the ideal canine who can do any job known to dog, come from? The German Shepherd story begins in Frankfurt around the turn of the 20th century. Cavalry officer Captain Max von Stefanitz wanted to develop the ultimate service dog to herd sheep. Guided by his motto of utility and intelligence, the captain crossed strains of German herding dogs and registered the first German Shepherd dog a dark-coated tracker with the noble name of Horand von Grafet, in 1899. Horand originated the breed that has become known around the world as a tireless worker and a faithful companion. Widespread fascination for the breed's astonishing versatility led the AKC to recognize the German Shepherd in 1907. Von Stefanix was a, uh, a German captain. He loved the breed and so he thought you know one dog the german dog would be the dog of the country he wanted to make this ultimate farm dog ultimate herding dog the ultimate working dog a dog for the people the german shepherd evolved into an impressive and powerful physical specimen their almond-shaped eyes are the windows to an intuitive intelligence that makes the dogs one of the smartest and most trainable breeds. And their thick, double-layered coats keep them warm outdoors. Then there are those ears, pointed and standing up like antennae, signaling a dog that's always ready for action. But maybe not always. As puppies, German Shepherd's ears are floppy down, giving them a brief look of goofiness before they grow up into their serious adult appearance. A German Shepherd dog owned by Melissa Fry. You do see that original purpose in the dog today. It's used here in this country a lot in herding, in, in real herding, not just in the sport. This dog wants a job. And if you own one, you'll see that he's always asking you, you know, what do you want me to do next? The German Shepherd's industrious character has also made the breed a natural for jobs beyond herding and tracking, like law enforcement. Captain von Stefanitz paired the breed with German police departments, forming the first canine units. And in World War I, the dogs served in the German army, earning their stripes on the battlefield as sentries, messengers, and ammunition carriers in aiding wounded soldiers and even guiding injured and blinded soldiers to safety. Officials on both sides were so impressed that when the war ended, the Germans, Americans and British began to develop their own squads of German Shepherds. However, there was a problem. The breed's popularity in the United States was severely affected by anti-German feelings from the war and the dog's future in the country appeared to be over. But then, when all seemed lost, a German Shepherd who would become the most famous dog of them all came to the rescue, saving their reputation from defeat. Enter Rin Tin Tin. Towards the end of World War I, an American soldier, Corporal Lee Duncan, discovered a badly damaged kennel in a French village, which had been used to supply the German army with German Shepherds. Duncan found a starving mother nursing a litter of five pups and rescued the dogs. He named one of the pups Rin Tin Tin after a good luck charm that the French children had frequently given the American GIs. Duncan brought Rin Tin Tin with him back to the United States and settled in Los Angeles. Rin Tin Tin grew into an athlete with matinee idol looks, even winning a local dog competition by leaping nearly 12 feet. He caught the attention of movie producers and starred in Where the North Begins becoming a worldwide sensation 
and starring in more than two dozen films. Rin Tin Tin received thousands of fan letters a week, was credited with saving Warner Brothers from bankruptcy, and was the first animal to receive his own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Today on social media, a video snapshotting the first year in the life of a German Shepherd named Dunder went viral, generating more than 10 million views. From the wreckage of the war to the red carpet, Rin Tin Tin was the dog who revived the German Shepherd breed. Yo, Rinty! Heavyweight champion George Foreman grew up watching Rin Tin Tin on TV and vowed to one day have a dog like him. When Foreman became a boxer, a German Shepherd became his training partner. The boxing legend has owned as many as 18 German Shepherds at a time. Roy Rogers, John F. Kennedy, Michael Jackson, Jennifer Aniston, Tyler Perry, and Yvonne Lindell have all owned German Shepherd dogs. Former Vice President Joe Biden added a German Shepherd named Major to the family, joining Champ, a German Shepherd who has gone with Biden to his Washington, D.C. office for years. Tonight's final ace recipient in the category of exemplary... The AKC consistently ranks the German Shepherd as the second most popular breed, behind only the Labrador Retriever. And in 1987, a German Shepherd nicknamed Hatter became the first member of the breed to win Best in Show at the Westminster Kennel Club. And until 2014, he was the all-time top-winning male show dog of any breed. Shepherd! The German Shepherd is won! The house is coming down! Hatter was outdone only by Mystique, a fleet female who has been listed in the Guinness Book of World Records as top show dog of all time, with more than 300 wins. Jimmy Moss is oh, Mystique, hottest dog in the country last year, Joe. Both champions were handled by the legendary Jim Moses. He is characteristically courageous, intelligent, and lent. Aside from the breed's celebrity, though, it's their more familiar qualities that make them so beloved and desired. With my children, the dog is a perfect companion. He's not aggressive, and he's easy to train. To me, an easy-to-train dog that fits in and wants to be part of your family instead of running off all the time, this is the ideal dog. German Shepherds seem to understand what their owner says, or is even thinking. They love to walk or run, love car rides and playing ball with children. With their agility, German Shepherds can live easily in apartments as long as they can be exercised daily and socialized in order to remain healthy and happy. The German Shepherd's undercoat sheds heavily in the spring and fall. They are comically called German Shedders, and they have to be bathed and brushed regularly during shedding to remove all the loose hair. The dog knows the difference between right and wrong without being told, and most of all, will protect and defend the people he loves. People ask about, you know, which breeds are smarter. It depends on what you want to do as to how smart the dog is. When you look at why German Shepherds are, are like so much is because out on a farm, the people who lived on a farm had a lot of things they needed dogs to do. They needed a dog that one would obey, that paid attention, that was not easily distracted, and that would respond when given a command. And so over these many years, they have selected this dog to do those functions. We call it pedigree analysis. You do that over a hundred years, and you're going to find a dog that's pretty highly skilled. Good job, Maverick. These special qualities enable German Shepherds to become the first guide dogs, starting in Europe. The breed's concentration skills and allegiance to their masters have helped visually impaired people lead independent, mobile lives in America since the 1920s, when Morris Frank, a blind teenager in Nashville, became aware of these assistance dogs. As I put my hand down on Buddy, I knew that she was going to be my declaration of independence and give me back the freedom that I so long desired to go and come as I pleased and that she also would be the pioneer. A German Shepherd named Buddy was trained to become the first seeing eye dog. Buddy transformed his master's life. Together, Frank and Buddy pioneered the guide dog movement in the United States. Today, all of the assistance dogs bringing care and freedom to visual and hearing impaired people can be traced to Buddy's pioneering service. Morris Frank, with the seeing eye, also shaped passage of the Americans with Disabilities Act. 
Perhaps the greatest test to the breed's ability and character may have come in the aftermath of the 9-11 tragedy. German Shepherds working for the New York City Police Department risked their lives searching the dangerous rubble of the fallen Twin Towers to rescue survivors, led by a dedicated dog named Apollo who refused to quit even when the mission was changed from rescue to recovery. The dog's heroism generated greater support for canine departments and police forces around the country. To honor the 9-11 service dogs, the AKC created a program known as DOGNY. DOGNY was AKC's major initiative as America's tribute to search and rescue dogs. There were 111 statues that were displayed throughout the city of New York for a few months covering the anniversary of 9-11. The statues were auctioned off, and the AKC donated the $3.5 million proceeds from the project to professional and amateur search and rescue organizations following 9-11. It was a gratifying experience seeing the American Kennel Club doing the right thing for dogs and for people. More than a century ago, Captain Von Stefanitz was determined to breed the ultimate service dog. Now it's clear, from battlefield bravery to living room loyalty, the German Shepherd can do it all. Temperament of the German Shepherd is the ultimate mark of quality dogs. And the way you get good temperament is you breed them right, you socialize them, and you train them right. Day. Teach the German Shepherd the vocabulary, one syllable words, be consistent, use the right tone, you got the ultimate dog. Good girl.